So, I went ahead and decided to show with the people. I've already shown you how to use an iPod Shuffle, but I haven't shown how it's synced. And I thought it'd be obvious. Some people just don't know how it works. Some people don't even know how you get music on an iPod in the first place. A few people don't. I actually know a few of those people. So this video is for them. What I'm going to do is show you how to sync it. Now, when you open up your iPod Shuffle box. As you saw my unboxing, this plastic won't come off anymore, I've pretty much sealed it on. But underneath this, when you peel this off automatically, because this is attached, <laughs> I nearly dropped it, I'm stupid. Uh, when this comes off, underneath it there's uh, earbuds, e these, be good, uh, manuals, and the dock, which plugs in via USB. If you don't know what USB is, please get out from underneath the rock. In case you still don't know what USB is after Wikipedia it like a normal person should, I'm going to show you. This is a male USB port or plug. This is the dock. This, after I get this untangled, you know what? There's one. This. Is a female plug. Let's see, they fit like so. That's what they call male and female plugs. That's how the technology. That's not innuendo. That's how technology is referred to. So we'll get it right. All right. That people mix them up all the time. You'd be surprised. So anyway, plug the male port into a female port. I use the external one. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and right in the room and move the camera for this so here is uh, my female port I'm going to use I'm going to plug it in you see how it goes match them up properly and in so now this is ready so I just set this off to the side set this down here now, as you can see, this is thus. Now then, if you already have iTunes installed on your computer, then great. If you don't, go to apple.com, which I'll do right now. Wait for it to load. Okay. Of course, you can see it's the site. What you do is you go to iPods plus iTunes here. Click. And here, iTunes 8 for Mac or PC. It's free. So you download it. And this is actually a generally good program just to play music by. So if you want a good music playing program, this is good. I used to like WinAmp, I changed my mind for this. If you, or the average user, you'll probably have either XP or Vista. Get that version. And if you have uh, one of the more advanced versions of Vista, you probably wouldn't be watching this in the first place. But if you are, check this one instead. And download now. I don't think you need to actually put your email address in. I didn't have to anyway. So, download iTunes and install it. I'm pretty sure you should be able to do that. And then, once it's installed, put in your iPod Shuffle. And if you have, and by default setting, iTunes will pop up. And this indicator light will glow. If it's orange, it means it's not fully charged. Also, if it's blinking orange, it means don't unplug it. Do not remove it while it's in this state. Do not unplug the male from the female port at this point. Don't. Just don't do it. Trust me. It's a bad idea. So, now, <laughs> iTunes is popping up. It'll be up in a couple seconds. And here's iTunes. Oh, it's unmaximized for some reason. I want maximized. Thank you. Alright, here's my extensive playlist. This all, by the way, all that I checked off, most of it I don't want to listen to on an average basis, so I don't put it on my shuffle. But pretty much all of this would actually fit on my iPod shuffle because of a certain particular reason. Despite the fact this one gig, and I have 1.30 gigs of music here. Oh, sorry, 1.3 technically. Don't want to be misleading. Which is 15 hours of music here. 258 to 48 songs. I could easily fit this all on my mini. Oh, my sorry, shuffle. So you'll have devices here. In this case, I have my iPod shuffle. I named iComics. Like I renamed my Twitter to iComics. You have playlist modes here also, but don't worry too much about that. I'm not here to teach you how to use the program. I mean, not that I'm not here to teach you how to make playlists and such. That's simple. I'm just teaching you how you sync it. As you can see, my iPod Shuffle already has music on it because I already synchronized it. 
what you normally do is if you're lazy you just click autofill and everything you've checked if you've uh, done this you can go to the settings it shows you exactly what kind of iPad you have here it shows you capacity and software version etc and it'll show you these things you can check off I recommend leaving that on I recommend leaving that on, and I really recommend this one setting after I figured out what it does. It takes a little longer to synchronize though, because it's converting music, but it converts it to a format that still sounds good and allows you to store much more on your iPod. For example, in just MP3 format, the music I put on was almost full, only 4 megs free. Now, I've gotten more music since then, and I've converted it all to AAC, so I have almost twice as much music now. Actually, I do have twice as much music now, and lo and behold, I'm not even using anywhere near that much. Like I said, it takes longer, but it is really good. So anyway, if you're lazy, just check the songs you want, and then click autofill, and they should go. They all well, not they should. They should. If you don't have that much music, they should basically be all the ones you checked. If you don't have enough music, it will choose items randomly. But if you click this, all your higher rating rated songs, which you can rate just by clicking here. Oh, actually, I don't really like prayer that much. <laughs> or prayers rating to four. Okay. At least you can change it. it, it this will choose the higher rating off, rated off of, uh, items more often. You can click this also to make it replace items. If you already have a few uh, songs on there you don't want to replace, then you can check this. Or don't check this, sorry. If you just want to get rid of everything, check this. Okay. So, let's actually put some music on it. Now, if you don't want to autofill, there's other things you can do. Let me find Let's go with uh, the live version of No. You check it first. Let's play it just to get an idea. Okay. You can play music and synchronize at the same time, by the way. Let me lower the volume a bit. To about yeah. Yes. Okay, now then you can just drag the song, and by the way, if you want to drag multiple songs, but not that many, just hold control and click the other songs. Control and click again to unselect them. If you want to select a whole row, hold shift and click down near the bottom. You can also do this, you know, control click and then get another row, but not mess this up. And right back to the song, we we'll go put this on my shuffle. So you just drag it, and if you have more songs, it'll show you right on here. And up here, it'll give you an indicator telling you what's happening. Syncing iPod, do not disconnect. Copying, fi updating files on iComics. Copying one of one, no live, and it's also converting it to AAC format in this process. It's almost halfway done now. As like I said, AAC process takes a little longer, but it's worth it. Alright. Also, if you look through this list, you can see it's on the list already, but it shows a little icon. It shows it's loaded. So you know which ones are loaded when you look through this list. So stop that. So now it's on there. Yeah. So everything's pretty much set now. So that's pretty much how you get music on the iPod Shuffle. Of course, once you're done, click this to unattach it digitally and then physically unattach it and then you're ready <coughs> oh yeah charges by that by the way in case you're wondering just plug it in clip it somewhere and Turn it on. Takes two seconds or so. And play. So there you go. That's how you get music on your iPod. 